Welcome back, lady lads and gentle lads, to what is going to be the final episode of the GDI campaign. Where I try to keep my units alive as best as possible. I've succeeded to some degree, I've failed to many degrees. But, this time around, I think this is going to be one of our better missions yet. Now, there's a specific way to complete this mission. A certain order to things. Partially enforced by the... Um, rather... Well, generous, actually, time limit on the whole mission. The other part, though, is that the mission itself is... Well, pretty long. Just a lot of things that need doing. Like destroying this harvester. That is going to be the primary focus of these here titans. I don't want him to be eating up our Tiberium field. This one belongs to me. Good. He's not allowed to have it. Perfect. Just a simple matter of clearing up the slight opposition here. And once that's done and over with, we can set about building our base. Perfect, there's our MCV. Yeah, it could be worth looking into, except that we're not really going to be using its, um, the units that come from it. But oh well. Next order of operations. Deploy you, deploy a GDI power plant, um, and start up, start our way up the tech tree, really. Um, we want to do this as fast as we possibly can, because we're about to have a time limit imposed on us. Next order of operations, don't die. Oh, that was close. You're a lucky man. Yes, sir. A lucky man indeed. Alright. There's the blue Tiberium field. There's a lot of special triggers in this mission that we want to avoid as well. But for now, we're comfortable going up to a faster speed. The early game is going to be devoted to base building here, because, well... Nod likes to send a lot of nasty, nasty things our way. Among those nasty, nasty things are... Aw. This refinery wasn't built in the most opportune place, but oh well. We'll manage. Start our way over to a war factory, get as many harvesters as we can get going as fast as possible. Cash flow is of prime importance. And once we get our cash flowing, um, we can start worrying about additional power plants and such. Because, rather strangely, we... Okay, good, I can still put it up on that high ground. Yeah. We have to start building our base out in this direction, because... We need to put down an EMP cannon close to the front line. Next building will be a radar, and then, following from that, an EMP. Oh. Sir, on my way. Oh, the harvester got built, and I wasted precious time, because there's our timer. So, there's going to be a succession of three timers here. Um, one for every ICBM launcher on the map. Within s these 60 minutes that are given to us, uh, in-game minutes, we have to destroy one ICBM launcher, before moving on to the next. Now, before we destroy that first ICBM launcher, I have to get a Firestorm defense system up, because the Nod forces are going to just start throwing uh, multi-missiles our way. 
And multi-missiles are what passes for a nuke, basically, in this game. Oh, also, I did that completely the wrong way around. I should have been doing a Tiberium refinery right now. Silly, silly me. Now, for the rest of this mission, we don't really have to worry about these units. As a matter of fact, I can explore part of the base back there. Get our Tiberium silo here, and yes, you start harvesting those. Thank you. Um, next on the docket is a service depot. Actually, no, now we're going for the radar. We want to tech up faster. Perfect. Let's go for that GDI Tech Center now. We should have just enough power in order to be able to bring it online. I'm getting sloppy with my power turbines here. But, oh well, we'll manage. Ah, uh, I knew it. I bloody knew it. Well, now, let's invest in a couple more of these before moving on, shall we? Um, that and we want to start our way towards a Mammoth Mark II, as well as some Jump Jet Infantry. Exactly one unit thereof, because we need it for scouting purposes. Normal air units can't actually be told to... Um, go into the fog of war, hence why it is so important to have jump jet infantry in order to um, make life easier for us. Now then, um, EMP cannon is the next on the list of things to do, actually it's not, yep, very cool Kanye. Alright. Cross on over to this side. Oh, damn it, we lost him. Oh well, slight misclick. Full deal. We were going to lose some units anyway, and some of them are very expensive. Like the following Mammoth Mark II. And following on from it, we're going to need an amphibious APC and a gaggle of engineers to go into that there APC. So, there's the first thing, there's the next. We're going to invest in yet one more carry-all. And finally invest in that EMP cannon as well. Ah, I made a mistake. I exposed this blue Tiberium field ahead of time, and that's bad. Well, so long as we micro our harvesters properly, um, nothing bad should come of it. <sighs> Famous last words and all. Um, right, there's that. Oh no, this is going to be group three. There's the EMP cannon right where we need it. Um... Yes, Let's finish that off. And invest ourselves in some power turbines. We're gonna need those later, too. Alright. You're full up, you're full up. Um... What else am I missing? All right. An Orca Bomber is going to be somewhat necessary. And beyond that, a Firestorm Defense System. The Orca Bomber is for this right here. Now then, you guys, please go to that Tiberium field. We need you there instead. Ready. 
And don't go there just yet. Actually, no. We do need to expose one of the artillery pieces on this map. It's not exposing itself just yet, but soon. There it is. Okay. Let's go back down to fast speed. Two, three, unit one is exactly as it should be. And now we focus on the last most important thing we need to do. And that is a line of Tiberium silos in order to drag ourselves a Firestorm defense wall. And once that is done and constructed, um, we can just continue on with our lives. Safe in the knowledge that a Firestorm defense system will be protecting us from random enemy missile attacks. Now, please, Harvesters, do stop doing that. It makes my heart ache so. And just have ourselves a nice aesthetic zigzag. And this is of utmost importance that we get this built right now. Because if we don't, as soon as the map area widens, a Nod missile silo will immediately launch a cluster missile at us, and we want to avoid that. So, if we can just successfully avoid that, we will be in very, very good position. In order to progress this mission. Another thing we'll invest in is a GDI upgrade center, so we can get a ion cannon online. And yeah, I know it's, uh, it's looking like we're a bit close to the wire here, but... Trust me, this is all part of the plan. Very good. Now then. Okay. Unit 2? If you would be so kind. Get out of there, man. Perfect. One guy down, second guy down. We want to be dealing with as few units as possible. And... Unit 3, please? Um, go a bit more in that direction. Oh, whoops, whoops. No, we need you right now, right here. Perfect. Now then, get you closer to the front line. And start spewing out your infantry complement. We'll start building engineers. One more power plant. Oh, perfect. Just in time technology. And brilliant. That ought to, um, well, really deal with most of the opposition and it's the problems it can pose for us. So. Now we build the most cheap vehicle in the game. Sure, we have to invest $5,000 redos into it, but that's absolutely fine, because we can repair our units for free once we build it. And, oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Why would you do that? Nod. 
I mean, thank you. you. You're making my life that much easier. Okay. Please capture it before that harvester leaves. Aw, oh, damn it. Just... Just a little bit too late. Oh well. New terrain discovered. I don't like hearing about new terrain. Well then. Well, let's repair you. Oh. So the cluster missile already went down, we just didn't get notified of it. Perfect. So we now have to fix this garbage. We still have a solid 20 minutes, so no rush, really. And we'll now label you guys as Group 3. Invest in a subterranean APC as soon as we get another um, engineer unit online, destroy whatever base defenses there may be, and yeah, that's about uh, it for this base, really. And why is it not letting us do that? What am I missing? Well, I'm clearly missing something. I don't remember quite what, but I'm missing something. Um, Nod Tech Center, I think. Sir, no problem. Um. Hi. What are you doing? Get out of there! What are you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this is. Unit reporting. On my way. No, stop it. We have to fix this bullshit. I'm sorry. That was not supposed to happen. I'm quite frankly embarrassed. Oh. You poor, stupid harvester. Yes, sir. You read. Yes, sir. Orders received. You ready. Moving out. Harvester under attack. Unit reporting. On my way. Harvester, please live. Okay. Things aren't exactly going according to plan, but that's fine. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. We'll we'll manage somehow. There you go. Sir? Yes, sir. Orders received. Um one of you needs to go down there, clearly. No problem. No problem. Oh my god, that's I'm sorry you folks had to see that. Oh, Really bad. Oh, so bad. Now then. With that out of the way, let's uh, go find that GDI base, build ourselves a stealth tank, because it is somewhat necessary. And once that bridge gets repaired, we can save this poor, deluded harvester. Orders received. Bridge repaired. And there we go. Some Tiberi uh, first Tiberium War uh, Tiberium tanks. Uh, fuck. Uh, mammoth tanks. That's the one. Jesus. Anyway. Um. 
let's do this in order then. We have 12 minutes remaining on the clock. Start focusing on that. Let's heal this poor, poor boy. There. No missile should hit us now. Right? Oh my god. Oh, these are actually really good. I forgot how good these things were. Okay. Timer stopped. Next timer is going to... Next timer is going to start very, very soon, and now we can uh, start doing the next stage of our plan, which is to build a GDI upgrade center and start cannon crawling all the way down in this direction. Okay. Number two, you're still alive and well. I guess I'll put you over here. And slowly but surely, we're... You know, dealing with all of the objectives. Alright. Let's let you go down here. And... where's that stealth tank? Where is that stealth tank? Unit ready. Sir. Okay then, I forgot where I put my stealth tank. Very good. Um... Ah, there it is. On the other side of the river. Yes, sir. Um... Yes, sir. Its objective will be to deal with chemical missile production. And what next? What do I need next? An EMP cannon. No. Iberium silos. There's one of them. Well, we'll set her up. Set up our ambush for when they come back. In the meantime, I'll produce you, you, um, just discover a bit of the fog of war, make our lives easier. Um, more fog of war, please. Thank you. There's the business. Yeah, don't worry, Nod. Don't mind this line of Tiberium silos that is slowly creeping forward towards your base. Absolutely nothing to worry about here. I've got to keep a close eye on that there mini-map as well. And... EMP cannon. Yep, it's coming back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving out. You got it. There you are. Let's also start damaging this one now that it's come back. Yes, this is important. Yes, sir. Sir. Moving out. Okay. Pilot. Next order of operations. Um. Training. We need another jump jet infantry to act as a scout for us, because there is an island base here that I need to dealt with as well. It should not have any um, artillery units on it, but it is still going to be a nuisance to deal with. Ready. 
So let's prepare ourselves. Let's defend ourselves. Yep, we caught the missile. Very nice. Very cool. There's that stealth tank. There's our jump jet trooper. And we're getting closer to the goal. Cool. Turn around. Save yourself. Perfect. Your usefulness to us has run its course. And... Well... Beautiful. Let's deal with that first. Cyborg's next. And slowly start capturing this stuff. And Ion Cannon is ready. Um, what else do I need here? Let's do that. Um, start worrying about a barracks. These harpies will meet their doom in no time. Oh, damn it. We don't really need to worry about the timer anymore. It's just the first one that was the biggest problem for us. Now we're basically completely fine to complete this mission on our own terms. There's that done. Another timer has started. Last ICBM launcher isn't going to be a hassle for us anymore, really. Okay, perfect. Let's deal with this random stealth tank that, for some reason, is in the low ground of that island. Don't know how it got there, though. But, you know, we're not gonna ask questions. Big questions make our head hurt. Yeah, that's the one you're going to now. Um... If anything, we need to replenish the stock of engineers in our subterranean APC. And this mission is gonna soon be brought to a close. Thanks to the Valiant, um... Ah, chemical missile. Oh well. Those still get to land for some reason. No, I don't know why. Uh, last two engineers there. We're actually gonna need one into this, um, stealth generator. And we can bring in our pilot. Yes. Sir. Start bringing our units forward there. Unit reporting. Unit, Unit ready. ready. Sir? And good. On my way. Yes, that sir. about does it for that. Ready. Orders received. Sir? And just look how quickly this thing gets repaired. Ah, oh, I can't wait to use these in the Nod campaign. Alright. Speaking of which, you guys can be used there, too. Um... Oh, this one's gonna hurt. 
our fire storm defense line. Building. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kane. This is fine. I'm not mad about this, actually. Construction. What I might be mad about is if I can't build this Firestorm section. Okay, I can build it. I'm not mad. Um... So once that Ion Cannon comes online, and our EMP Pulse is ready already... Um... Oh, this is not going to do anything. Yes, Nowhere close to fast enough for me. So then... Oh crap. Out. Nearly got spotted. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Let's keep up scouting out the front of the enemy base. A nice little knuckle of artillery at the front here. But that should be quite easy to deal with. Beautiful. Let's deal with those artilleries first, and then that should be the final artillery that needs dealing with. And once it's gone, so are my worries. Oh, actually there was a lot more to worry about here than I first anticipated. Now then. You. There's our subterranean APC, we'll drop you off here. Once again, start building engineers like mad, and basically rinse and repeat. Take out the power stations, take out the enemy. Take out the Tiberium silo, go ahead. Oh. Ah, whatever. A couple of engineers built in the wrong location. That's fine. Forgot to put them on hold. But honestly, this is where, um, this is where we draw the line. This is where the buck stops. It's where we stop giving a buck. And like that, the timer is no more. It has no power over us. And... Not to say that we didn't use them. They're glitchy selves. Let's actually, uh... Destroy some stuff. Why not? Perfect. Group 4, or now, I guess it would be Group 3. You, got it. you are ready to serve. Also, I find it amusing how all of our engineers are Russian. Naturally, if I was playing this mission normally, I'd be using these guys much more proactively, but, you know, for now, this is fine. Um... Right, you guys are now Group 4. Yes, 
Yeah, they can tank it. You got it. On my way. Waiting orders. No problem. Orders. On my way. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Waiting orders to unit reporting. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Sir? Building Coming out. Engine Perfect. Control. Yet one more to add to the cause. That is to say, Harvester to add to the cause. Every Harvester helps. Sir? Now we can just sort of cross over this bridge with impunity, more or less. We can also be a bit mean and destroy all of these old Nod buildings. I mean, search and destroy, after all. Waiting orders. Yes, sir. Waiting orders. On my way. Unit reporting. Yes, sir. Waiting orders. Unit reporting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. You got it. On my way. Yes, sir. The last thing we need to do is make sure that all of the enemy units are destroyed all around the map. Um, let's just build another five engineers preemptively and all that. Oh, yes, I was looking for you. That's fine. The stealth tank can deal with the remainder of that guy's health. Ready. Waiting order, no problem. Waiting orders. Waiting order. You got yes, it, sir. Unit. God, tick tanks are so yes, beefy. Unit ready. The fact you that they can it. outrange even mammoth tanks is perplexing sir, to me. No problem. Waiting order. Okay, very good. I was briefly worried I wouldn't get it. Cool. Last one that needs dealing with. And that should be about all the units over there. The mission is about to reach its final state of accomplishment. And it's been a good run. Been fun doing this series. Yes, I look forward to doing the Nod series. Yes, Just one final cutscene, a bit of a credits sir. roll. Waiting on my way. Sir, my way. Waiting on yes, sir. And I guess I can sir. explain a couple of things about the campaign so far, and why so much of it was so weird. I was doing some testing in the background, and. There is a noticeable difference in the kind of AI scripting that exists between uh, normal difficulty and hard difficulty. On hard difficulty, everything is a lot more durable, it does more damage to your units, but um, the enemy doesn't actually build as many units. And when they do, they get caught in these weird glitch cycles where all that they end up doing is building a subterranean APCs, where they end up building uh, um, and subterranean APCs and a lot of engineers. And I thought, why am I not running into as much opposition in hard mode? And I think that has something to do with it. Either that or hard AI was actually really poorly coded in this game, which I think is something I've heard other people claim as well. So it, it is perplexing to the highest degree. 
Um, whereas in normal mode, yeah, you do have actual waves of units that come after you. I've tested this. And it's still not quite as many waves of units as you would expect. And I think that's due to the version of the game I have. Since Tiberian Sun became freeware, way back already, like six years ago, I think, in 2012, I think it was, it became freeware along with every other Command & Conquer game before it, one of the only good decisions that EA has made in the past while. And... I, I, being the stupid idiot that I am, decided to get the 25th anniversary edition of Command & Conquer on origin. Yeah, that piece of malware. Um, and there, Tiberian Sun is really difficult to play because Origin just has some weird quirk that whenever it tries to launch Tiberian Sun, it does it in like the least optimal way and for some reason, you can't lower the edge scroll speed, and everything happens a lot faster. It, it's just strange. And no, it's not even because um, my speed setting was set too high. That is to say, the in-game speed setting. It is just weird. So what I decided to do is I decided to get the freeware copy of Tiberian Sun. And that's the one I'm currently running right now. The one available via CNC net. And its issue, I think, is that there is some sort of additional glitch with the AI scripting. That the AI is just completely broken in this version. I'll have to do some more testing, but I hope I'm wrong on this one. And that the previous testing I did is somehow indicative of the fact that maybe I'm just remembering this game wrong. Maybe I've just gotten better at video games over time, and the only reason why I look back on this one so fondly for being difficult and intriguing and just fun gameplay overall is maybe because I sucked at video games. Either way, without further ado, it's time to end Kane. No problem. No problem. Well, that's rather anticlimactic. Well, shit! <laughs> what did I forget to kill? Oh, I know. There's laser turrets in the bottom here. Sir, moving out. Moving out. God, I feel stupid. No problem. I knew there was something I was missing. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Unit ready. And so, rather anticlimactically, it's time to end Kane. I said it's time to end Kane. Please tell me you understand. It's time to end Kane. Finally, good. Oh. Let her go. Still giving orders, Commander. You really should learn to pay attention. I have your mutant, and I have your own. Kill him. Forget about me. Don't let him win. Don't let him stop me from acting like a ham. Can only delay the inevitable. I have the Tacitus. I am invincible. The Tacitus told me of Tiberium missiles. Of invulnerable flying ships, of real time genetic mutation. More than alien, more than human. The next step in our evolution as a species. You're not God, Kane. No, I'm not God. But I'm a close second. So much for being a close second there, Kane.
They just have to do the type title drop in there. Jesus. That's an order. God, the hammy lines. So good. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. The things I was willing to overlook as a kid. Jesus. Will it work? Right. Might also kill her. We have to test it. It could save my people. If this is a... If I... Thanks, man. Well, that was quick. I love to win. No bad for want. I swear, there was like supposed to be some like kiss tension going on in that scene, and it just wasn't delivered. <laughs> so fucking funny. And that's it, folks. That's the GDI campaign. 330% efficiency. And 16 units lost. Where did we lose 16 units? I don't understand. Where did I lose 16 units? Yeah, I'm doing the math, and I don't understand. Oh. Civilians. The civilians count as our units. Ugh. <laughs> Look, I had a war to win. Whatever. I'm I'm mad. I have been smashed in. I'll see you in the Nod campaign. And until then, have a good day.